What's up guys? Today we're going to be setting up uh, a kite uh, for fishing. Um, there's two different types of kites that you can use. Um, the first one I'll talk about is uh, like a Lewis um, fabric kite, um, an SFE kite. They're, they're all they're all kind of the same. Um, they're a good light wind kite. Um, however, you might end up fishing them with a balloon on them to keep them a, a little bit more steady. Uh, just the design uh, makes them change a lot on the gusts. Um, but for good for light wind fishing, um, for bluefin, uh, I would definitely use a balloon on them. Like I said, it just keeps them a lot more steady. Um, but that's the first one we're going to talk about. The second one we're going to talk about is the uh, Boston Big Game Kite. And the advantage of that one is it's uh, it's made from like a vinyl material. It's like plastic. Um, you can fly it. I mean, I've flown in like four or five miles an hour um, all by itself and seems seems to be really steady. Um, the bonus on that is, is if you do something stupid uh, and the kite gets wet, uh, I mean, literally just shake it right out and it's dry in two seconds. Um, so you don't have to worry about the fabric on it. Um, but here, here's a, a quick picture of what it looks like. Um, like I said, it's big and black, uh, but it works really good. Um, now, no balloon assist. Um, so you you have to kind of watch it. If you got uh, like gusting winds where it's off on, off on, off on, you might be adjusting your reel a lot to uh, to adjust it. But overall, I mean, the thing works really, really good. Uh, other than that, yeah, let's let's get into uh, setting up clips on the kite. All right, here's our kite set up. Um, this is a SFE kite. Um, this is a, a medium wind kite. I float a balloon on it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so you don't have to run the lightest white kite if you don't want to, but this is good down to four miles per hour, up to 15. So uh, perfect for Southern California. Um, let's talk about the parts of the kite. You got the rods. All four are equal length, okay? So you don't have to worry about mixing them up. But the important thing that you need to look at is number one, that your bridles that come out of this thing are square and they are not wrapped around the rod. If they start wrapping around the rod, it's gonna cause your kite to spin and be uneven. And another little thing that I ran into personally is on the other side, they have this little bead, this little triangle bead right here. Now I've had it where this bead will get wrapped up on one side of these and I'll throw it off and I couldn't figure it out on the water, so thankfully I had another kite that worked really well for me that day, but um, always look at this, make sure it's not tangled up and that everything's free flowing on the backside. Now you have the top bridles that come out. And I got my clip right here, which is going to my rod. So you always wanna have a swivel. So in case it does spin, it's not gonna tie up all of your, uh, your lines and damage them. And then you can adjust the length of this for the angle of the kite, depending on how much wind you got or how high you need to fly. If you need to fly it low and keep it out of the way and far back, uh, you can make that adjustment without having to do too much work. So things to keep in mind. Now, if your kite does get wet, which this one got a little bit wet when I was taking the part, you can see it's got some stains on it. It really is just salt water. So make sure you wash it with just water, nothing else. Get the salt off it. If you leave the salt on, it's not gonna fly right. Well, one, it's a little bit heavier, but two, this fabric is made to breathe and uh, let air pass through it. So if it's clogged with salt, that's not gonna fly right. So keep that in mind uh, when you're handling your kite. All right, so here's our kite clips and uh, I'm gonna kind of run you through the strategy here, okay? Now, if you look at these clips, each one has a slightly different size hole and that's for your swivels to go through, okay? So it comes with different size swivels. So you have a really small one, medium size one, bigger one. Uh, so this one's gonna be for the end of your kite rod. Now the idea is, is that you're gonna lay these out so that way you can fly three clips at one time. Now, this would be your rod side with your kite rod. And this would be the kite side, okay? So black one at the top, you got the smallest swivel, okay? That swivel will not pass through that hole, okay? It's too small, but this swivel will pass through the gray one. 
Now the gray one has a bigger swivel. This swivel will not pass through the gray one, but it will pass through the one in front of it. And then the biggest swivel being at the bottom. But again, it won't pass through my largest clip. Now the idea here is that you can stretch all three of these out on this one kite and have multiple baits set up. And then when you want to reel it in, you can collapse them all into five inches of line versus having to disconnect something every time and hand wind it in. So um, that's how you set them up. Now, as far as the clips go, there is a little, uh, little threaded screw in here and that's to adjust the tightness of the clip popping out. So um, your clip's gonna be like this going down and your bait's gonna be rigged through there. Um, and then when these pop out, which this one's pretty tight, but they'll pop loose like that. So play with these, learn to adjust them the way that you want them. The last thing you wanna do is have uh, it not pop loose, come all the way down, your kite's wet, and especially if it's a fabric kite, uh, then you won't be able to fly it for the rest of the day. So um, something to keep in mind. So you might want to get the setup before you go out and uh, try and run it on the boat and avoid any uh, catastrophes with in front of all your friends. Um, so learning how to set this up, pretty simple. Um, I like to have my top one, I'd say probably 75 yards, 50 to 75 yards from the top of the kite. And you can work your way down. Um, I fly my, my baits far away, and depending on the angle of your kite, most of your baits are probably gonna end up in this one if you're just running like a solo flying fish or something. So, um, but if you're running a bunch of double troubles or single baits or mackerels or sardines, you can run multiple at the same time. Uh, keeps everybody occupied as long as you got someone to, to man a rod. So, something to think about. All right, before I put the third swivel on here, I want you to always double check to make sure that your swivels will pass through the guide if you're using an auto level reel. I would highly recommend an auto level reel because you're gonna be reeling this really fast, trying to put another line on, and the last thing you wanna be doing is paying attention to one new line on or anything else because you're probably bringing in your other line at the same time. So something to think about now. The third, the biggest one, probably won't pass through, and that's certainly fine because that's where your line's gonna stop anyway. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, but you are going to set this thing up and you're in a pinch or your swivels are too big for your guide um, i got a quick little tip for you and i'll show you how to do it all right so let's say you forgot to put your swivels on your kites out uh, and you need to attach a clip or another reason is your auto wind is too small to wind in any swivels um, there's one little trick that you can do in a pinch and that's basically have your kite out figure out where you want to set up your clip. And this does work, it's not the most recommended way, but make a little tail there. You wanna go all the way around one time. Pull it tight. So that's one, but it's not gonna hang right. So make sure you unclip it. And you're gonna do the same thing on this side. You're gonna pinch it, go through. Now it's gonna be a little bit weird. But you can get it around, it'll pull tight. Now it looks funky. You can still clap, still snap the clip together, right? And it's not really, once once you have this tight here, it's not gonna go anywhere. But that is one way to do it. There we go. So now you can see, I mean, I can, I'm tugging on it. It's not going anywhere whatsoever. So not the best way, but if you're in a pinch, uh, that will work. So. Keep that in mind. All right, guys. Hope you saw something uh, you liked today or maybe you learned something new. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, I'll be putting up some more fishing tips here uh, to get you out there fishing.